So here we are on my Android TV device, typical home screen. We can see these large scale adverts covers most of the screen. We have some sponsored applications. We have some promoted content, but watch what happens now when I press the home button on my device. And we are instantly taken to this custom launcher where at the top we can now see the weather. I can click on this, get a quick summary about the weather today. I can see my favorite applications. I can see my most used applications. And of course, with none of that sponsored content, none of those big adverts, I really can go ahead and customize this home screen exactly as I like it. In this video today, let me show you how you can get this custom launcher on all of your Android TV devices, as well as your Amazon devices. So your Fire Sticks, Fire TVs can also use this application and use this to launch all of your favorite applications. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So the application in question is called the Super Smart TV Launcher and I will do the first part of my demonstration on my Nvidia Shield, but then I will jump over to my Amazon Fire TV Cube so you can see what the application looks like on an Amazon Fire TV device. Now, obviously there's differences between the two ecosystems. Like for example, on the Android TVs, you can use the voice to launch applications through this launcher, but that's not going to work on your Amazon devices. Also on the Android TVs, you can use an application like Button Mapper, or maybe you can use some ADB commands to set this as your home button launcher. Whereas on the Amazon devices, you can't use the same ADB commands. You have to use one of the other methods to start this launcher. Like for example, you could use the launch on boot, which will then start this application automatically. Alternatively, you can remap one of those media buttons, like maybe the Disney Plus button or the Netflix button. You can remap those to start your custom launcher because as you know, on the Amazon devices, on the latest update, we can no longer use the home button. Now, if I start this launcher for the first time, let me give you a quick overview. Now, when you start this for the first time, you will see that it does look quite busy, but some of you may prefer to have it like that because you want to see a lot of things on your home screen. So for example, we can see we have the weather at the top. I mean, so many times people have asked me what's the best way to get widgets working on other launchers, but with this application, as soon as you open it, you will see a really nice weather view. And of course you can always click on these you can get more detail summary like the cloud cover, the wind pressure or the humidity. Let's press back. Now we can see here we have live video and news. So some different things are happening all over the world, which again, you may want to see this on your home screen. Scroll down and then it shows you your most used applications. So you can see exactly what you're doing on your device. So for the people that regularly access the same applications, you will just see them directly down here. And it also shows you connected applications or devices. Now in terms of customizations, we go to the top, we can see here that we can use uh, the microphone, which of course only works on Android TV devices. And if you go to this menu icon on the top left, when you click on that, and this now shows you all of the applications on your device. So for example here, if I open up Explore application, click on that, we've now launched this application. I can now press the back button, back again, and we can see we stay inside the custom launcher. So for most applications, if you just press the back button, it will take you out of the application and allow you to stay in that custom launcher. And that way you don't have to worry about remapping your home button. Now to customize the launcher, you want to click on Super Smart. So let's click on that. Then the account, you can see that there are some premium features if you want to pay for it. Like for example, you can add in lots more favorites and a few other things, but everything I'm showing you in this video is available for free. So you won't have to pay anything. You can install this application and do the exact same things that I'm going to show you. Let's go to appearance. Okay, so first thing, let's customize the wallpaper. Let's click on that. And we can now see these built-in wallpapers. And you can choose anything that you like. Alternatively, on the Android TV devices, you can also look at your internal storage to change the wallpaper. But for now, let's just pick one of these. Let's try this one. Click on that. This will now automatically download the wallpaper in the background and set that for you automatically. 
let's press back and we can see we're now using that new wallpaper i mean the home screen still looks quite messy and it's one of the reasons why the first thing i like to do is go back into the settings go to live video and news and let's now turn off the news and video also turn off youtube videos and also turn off live videos because um, i just think it looks a bit messy but of course it's personal preference we can also turn off the auto scroll so back into appearance we can say for example i want to see the app usage let's click on that but let's turn off the connected devices and we can leave the favorite apps on let's go to the left but i'm going to leave the rest as defaults and we are now looking at this customized home screen where the main thing is we don't see any of that sponsored content those big adverts let's now add a couple of applications into our favorites so I like to use my cash cleaner and many thanks to the people that have purchased this application from the Google Play Store and also the Amazon App Store. I really do appreciate your support. So if I long press the select button, I can now click on add to favorites. Let's now also add in uh, just watch, long press, click on add to favorites. And let's also add in YouTube. So long press, click on add to favorites, press the back button. And we can see now my home screen looks like this. I have my favorite applications at the top and I can also see my most used applications. I can look at the weather. I can customize the wallpaper and all of that is available free with this amazing new launcher. So that's what the launch looks like on Android TVs. And here's the launcher on my Fire TV Cube. So I've set up in a similar way. As I mentioned before, we can't use the, the voice search, but in terms of customizations, we can add in these applications we can tweak the weather. You can also disable the weather if you don't like it. it. Has a very nice snappy interface. And of course, anything that I launch, uh, let's launch um, this remote ADB shell, open up the application, press the back button, and we stay inside that custom launcher. So that's the application on both my Android TV and my Fire Sticks. Let me now show you how you can get this on all of your devices. Now, depending on your location, you may be able to open up the Android TV store and just search for Super Smart TV. But if you can't find it, just open up your browser or use Downloader. Go to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Click on tutorials and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get this Super Smart TV application on all of your devices. Let's scroll down. Here we can see some information about the application. Some of those features. Keep scrolling down and click on this link here and I will leave a link to launch on boot if you want to use that method for your Amazon devices. Alternatively, you can read the article on the AFTV News website on how you can remap those media buttons on your Amazon devices. And just before you go, guys, if you're looking for a really fast VPN for the new year, or maybe you're not happy with your current VPN, IPVanish are doing a crazy promotion whereby you can get complete protection for all of your devices with unlimited bandwidth, really fast speeds at just under $4 a month. So at that price point to protect all of your devices, to stay anonymous online, to change your IP address, to access geo-locked content, or with confirmed zero data logging, I think it's definitely worthwhile checking out. So, so please do leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this custom launcher and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.